All right, it's a little bit windy today. I'm trying to hide in the shelter from my car here. Uh, so hopefully it's not drowning out everything I say here. Anyway, I was able to go and grab some of my tackle out of my truck. So I don't have to be using limited gear right now. I've got everything I need. Um, out here, VFW Boulevard. I love this place. Uh, it's one of the closest places to a spot of park I go to without going to a spot of park. I really don't like a spot of park. But I like this place. You can go either direction pretty far, and there's decent fish around. So uh, the goal today is to try to catch something in the keeper size range. Uh, let's be a little bit more realistic. Lately, I've been catching nothing but tiny, like seven to eight inches. Let's see if I can break the 12 inch mark. Keeper size would be 14, but I'm, let's go for 12. So I've got about an hour and a half, maybe two hours till the sun goes down. So the goal is to catch a 12 inch bass or bigger by the time the sun goes down. So let's get to it. I want to throw around these rocks here because there's usually some decent guads and stuff hanging out in those rocks. Which, by the way, guads do not actually have a keeper size anymore. They remove the, the size limit on them, so you can keep legally keep any size Guadalupe bass. Which, I'm not sure I completely agree with that, but in a way it makes sense because they very rarely ever get to that 14 inch mark. And so. Not that I would suggest people keep fish anyway, but it technically would be legal for you to keep a Guadalupe bass that's only a couple of inches long. We are in the fall transition now. It doesn't really look it and it definitely doesn't feel like it. It's been pretty hot lately, so I'm still going to fish it like it's summer. Nice little spinner. It's been straightened out, but it's an easy fix. Just twist it back around this way. That's a good size little spinner for here. Good hook on it still. It's got like a rooster tail kind of thing going on. I'm gonna keep that. Got one. He had it for a while though. Wasn't sure if I had one. It's not a guad this time. It's a spotted bass, but he still doesn't meet that 12 inch limit that I was setting for myself. It's only about 10 inches maybe. There we go. Got one on the board. That's, that's not bad. That's bigger than any of the other bass I've been catching lately. A lot bigger, actually. Throw back over there and see if there's another one. I kind of just dead stick it. I let it sink. And he started running with it. So I am throwing along the bank here in the shade. The sun's back behind me, so it's casting shade this way. So I think all the fish are going to be stacked up under my feet. Okay, there's a pretty decent bass right there. Went towards it and kept going. There's actually two bass there. And the wind is really messing it up where I can't cast where I need to be. Got to compensate for that. But it's also, it's like they're bedding down already. Like they're, maybe they're just picking out their spot. 
I don't see either one of them anymore. They both disappeared. And both of them are well over that 12 inch uh, goal I set for myself. Might have to switch up to a paddle tail swim bait on a jig head. Well, that way it looks like my bait's rooting around on the bottom. Oh, I turned around and retied, put on a swim bait, a three inch paddle tail, and turned back around and I can't find them anymore. I got one. <laughs> oh, he slipped off. Swim bait was the right call. That was not one of the big ones I was targeting, but that was uh, bigger than the last one I caught. Oh! That was, uh, that was pretty wild. Had another bite, but I set the hook right before he, or right after he let it go and it came flying back at me try it again they want action baits they want swim baits and i think i've got one on it now yep That's a guad. Little, uh, little 10 inch guad. Not what I'm looking for, but that's pretty good. All right, so that last one hit it on the drop after I cast out. This time nothing hit it yet, but I haven't started the retrieve yet. So, of course, the big bass came back and I'm snagged. Severely snagged. Come on. Oh, figures. Big fish in this river are almost impossible to catch because it's so heavily pressured and you know they're they're smart if they live long enough to get that big they're really hard to catch these fish are definitely outsparting me I'm losing too much money in tackle here Got him. Oh no, that was a big one too. <sighs> Come on. I don't know. Oh, something, something picked it up there for a second. He's not still on it though. Where is he? Got him. Kept picking it up and dropping it. Or swallowed it. No, no, he didn't. Okay. Looked like he did there for a second, but it's just a little guad. There we go. He wasn't hooked in the gill plate gill plate though, so even though he's bleeding a little bit, he'd be fine. Yeah. Swimming off alright. He was hooked in the top of the mouth, roof of the mouth, but a little bit far in there, so he was bleeding just a little bit. But he'll be all right. It's when they get hooked into the gill plate, that's when they, they don't normally survive, or if they swallow it and you pull it out wrong. All right, so I've caught three fish already. Two of them were about 10 inches, but I still have not 
hit my goal of 12 inches even though 10 inches on the two of them were considerably bigger than what I've been catching lately the third one was about the same size of what I've been catching lately Let's see if I can get down over here it's heavily overgrown I'm gonna make my own trail A little bit of a trail over here. Uh, no trail anymore. I'm just gonna keep smashing my way through here. Don't have much farther to go. It's just not really room to get through here. I wish it was more like fall. I mean, it is fall. It's been fall for almost a month. And nothing is dying off yet. All these plants are supposed to be dead and wilting away. Okay, that was an ordeal. Now let's see if I can get a clean cast. There was a tap. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yep, there's my 12 incher. Chill. Yep, there we go. It's probably 12 or 13 inches. This was what I was looking for. Because this is a solid San Antonio bass right here. Let's see here. scale slash tape measure out I can of course my battery dies when I got the fish but he's 1.29 1 1.29 and all right he's right at 13 and seven or three quarters almost 14 inches let me get him released and change out my battery. Alright, so I don't know what was captured from that last fish on video because my battery died when I brought him in. I tried to record the release and everything, but I just, I don't know what was recorded and what wasn't. So, but it was just about 14 inches, maybe a little bit under. And weighed a pound, 1.3 pounds, 1.29 pounds. He actually ate it right out there, not far from, not far off the bank. This is a great spot. Just had another bite, but I think I got to get moving before it gets too dark. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to find my way out of here. There we go. I knew I'd pick one out up under there. It's not a guad this time. This is another spotted bass. So that's five, five fish already. Oh, almost had number six right there. It's a couple of more spots that I wanted to hit, but it's taken me longer to get down here than I anticipated. So I'm going to skip over a couple of spots and, and go to a spot that I think is going to be the best one to finish off with. Uh, it's, the sun's already over the tree line, over the hills over there. So I can't see it anymore. So it's going to start getting dark here really fast. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I wasn't even looking. Something just popped right there. I don't know what it was. I don't know if the camera would have picked that up or not. I kind of hope it does so I can see what that was. It was literally like three feet away from me. I was not expecting that. There we go. Got him. Saw that one come up and take it right off the steps. I'm 
nice little quad. Okay, it's probably too dark for the camera to even see anything, but I can still see a little bit, so I'm gonna finish off right here where I started. See if they'll go after the swim bait over here because I only threw the skinny sink over here earlier. So uh, my my saying is always when it's too dark to see your bait, it's time to stop fishing. And I could not see my bait right there, but that was a good chance. That was right next to a rock. Is that a, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go. Oh no! He slipped off right at the bank. I had him up out of the water and he slipped off at my feet. That was, that was like two and a half, three pounder at least. Oh. Not that the camera could see anything because it's like pitch black but still man there we go did he come off he... I'm done I'm done I'm done that's it I'm done probably can't even see anything for except for a couple of lights up there on the hill Anyway, I just lost two decent bass. One of them wasn't very big. The other one was was a pretty serious bass, and I lost it. I mean, anything over two pounds in this river is pretty special. That was definitely over two pounds. And it slipped off right at the bank, and then just a second ago, I had a smaller one, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, it was probably probably around the size of the it's probably gonna be like a 10 or a 12 or something like that but he took it and slipped off the hook so something something's wrong with this hook maybe it's too dull from snagging the rocks or something but it's just maybe the barbs too small but yeah I'm just I was losing too many fish and I was about to start getting frustrated so I'm calling it quits it's already pitch black out and dark, but they were still biting, but I just, I can't, I can only deal with so many of those before I lose my cool. So thanks for watching. See you next time.